Hi, this is Shad with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're currently working through a series on building a Swing GUI to connect to a database. We're currently at video 12.9, Linking Tables. Let's expand on our previous code example. Now we'd like to add the feature to keep an audit history of updates to an employee. In this scenario, we'll introduce the concept of a user. The user will be able to log in and make changes to an employee. Each change they make will result in a new record in a database table. At a later time, we can view all the changes made to an employee and see which user made the change. Before we get into the coding, let's take a look at a demo. All right, so here's our application. We have a user login screen. We'll choose the user Joe Alpha. For the password, we can enter anything and hit OK. At this point, we can do add employee. We'll enter some information for an employee and then we'll hit save. We added a new employee called Bill Allen. We can go through and view the history. And this is a list of all the actions that were performed on this employee. So here we added a new employee. Now we can go through and we can update this employee. I'm going to change his salary to 50,000. And then I'll hit save. And now if I go back and view Bill Allen again, view his history, then I should see a new entry for updated employee. So notice how it's keeping track of the actions on this employee. Now what I'll do is I'll log in as a different user, Becky Zeta. Again, any password will work here. Hit OK. And then I'll just do a search. And I'll choose that same employee, Bill Allen, and do a view. I'll actually do an update here. And I'll update his salary to $60,000. i will hit Save. And now I'll go to Bill Allen, and I'll say View History. And now we'll see the new entry by Becky Zeta and also the previous entries that were entered by Joe Alpha. I'll do this one more time on update. I'll increase the salary to 70,000. This guy's getting a lot of pay raises here. I'll hit save. And then I'll go through and do a view history on Bill Allen one, one more time. And we'll see the second entry, Becky Zeta. So it's keeping track of all of the history for that actual employee that's being modified. So that's basically how the application works. To add this functionality, we need to add a to-do list. The first thing we need to do is create new tables for audit history and users. This will basically link the audit history table to the users and employees. Next, we'll have to build a login panel. So this panel is what we'll show at the application startup and we'll actually keep track of the user ID. And then we need to update our DAO. Inside of the methods where we add data, we need to also insert data into the audit history table based on the currently logged in user ID. Finally, on our main GUI, we need to add a button called View History, and this will show a list of audit history for the selected employees. Alright, so for this functionality, we need to create new database tables. We need an audit table and a user table. The audit table will track the changes made to an employee. The user table has a list of users. Notice how the audit history table provides a link between the user table and the employee table. This is accomplished with foreign keys. The foreign key is the user ID or the employee ID that points back to the main table. The SQL for all of this is available in the zip file download. It's located in the directory SQL slash table setup.sql. All right, let's switch over to Eclipse. We'll take a look at this file user login dialog.java. We'll look at the actual design for it. And this is basically our login dialog where the user can select a user and they can enter a password and they, we have buttons there for hitting OK and Cancel. So just a very basic UE layout. And you can look at all the source code that's available when you download it. But the key thing here is that it'll keep track of the selected user and pass it to other parts of our application. All right, so let's take a look at our employee DAO. And we'll take a look at this one method, update employee. So this is where we actually update an employee. So the method parameter, we pass in the employee. And then we have a new parameter that we're passing in, the user ID. So we'll use this for tracking. So this code has the basic work for doing the standard update of an employee into the database. And now we have a new code section that we're adding for the audit history. So we simply prepare a statement. We're going to insert something into that new table, audit history. We give the user ID employee, the action, the date and the time. And then we set those parameters. I'll set the user ID the employee ID, a string that we updated the employee, and the current timestamp. And now I'll actually execute that update. 
So this will add a new entry into the audit history table for this update. All right, so let's take a look at our main GUI. We have this new button called View History for viewing our audit trail history. Let's go ahead and look at the coding for it. So we have this action listener. The first thing we do is we get the selected row. We check to make sure the row is valid. It's greater than zero. Also, from there, we get the actual employee based on that row. Then we talk to the database and we get the audit history for this given employee ID. It'll return a list of audit history items. Then what we'll do is we'll create an audit history dialog and we'll populate it with information about the employee and the list of audit history items. And finally, we'll display that dialog by setting visible to true. And that's basically it. All right, so that wraps up our video for creating an application that links tables together and keeps track of users' audit history. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also, visit our website, lovetoco.com, to download the Java source code used in this video.